Okie dokie. Let's see if this tablet will work well for me tonight. It's always a guessing game with this fellow. So I'll wait around a second. Let's see what it does. Anyway, hello out there. It is a quarter to midnight. Eastern Standard Time of me doing this. Why do I do these this late at night? Probably because it's extremely peaceful. And you know, I got the time I'm a little more relaxed. Yada, yada, yada. But that's why. So, as you can probably hear, I got a little background stuff going on there. My tablet wants to act correct today. Don't know why, but I won't argue. All right, I think we're good here. I really don't expect anybody really to uh, see me live. Um, not at this time of night. Well, there you are. What's going on, Ernest? So I was just explaining that I don't expect too many people to see me at this time of night, really. Um, but usually it's pretty peaceful. It gets a lot of things off my mind. And you guys cannot see the paints <laughs> that I got. Let's just aim the camera a little bit. Er, there you go. All right. A uh, little crooked, but it's okay. Anyway, I'm uh, yellow, uh, umber, and some um, ultramarine blue. For starters, I got the butterfly masks and whatnot. All right, okie dokie then. All right, we're gonna get right on to it. Ah, no problem, brother. No problem at all. I'm going to um, use the uh, varnish brush today. I'm gonna just coat, I got a little bit of water and I'm gonna just kind of pull this yellow paint out. I'm gonna need plenty of it. And so instead of using the glycerin, I'll just use water. Okay, and I'm gonna just coat. I'm gonna coat this fella all yellow. Um, all yellow. Definitely gonna be more or less the background. Now, I should have used glycerin so I can mix. Um, other two colors with it but I decided just to use water instead um, so I'll just dip mr. flat brush into water into my paints okay and just do it this way it's not going to stay wet very long it will dry up and it's fine that's fine I do not want a nice solid yellow so I may go over it a couple times, even though it really doesn't matter because I might have all the things in front of the yellow, of course. So I think what I'll do is let this dry and it will because it's nothing but acrylic paint and water. So I might just let it dry real good and then add the glycerin on top of, on top of this yellow <laughs> and, <coughs> and proceed on from there. Get a certain look I want, and uh, I guess I'll achieve it that way. So I'll just mix a little water with the paint, just a more of a covering. That's all. And I'm not gonna really, uh, at least I'm gonna try not to rush through this. Not too bad anyway. Like I say, this this yellow is just background everything else is going to be put in front of it so but you should see enough of the yellow for the effect that i'm trying to achieve i know quite a few of you will take a look at this when i'm done because you know you wake up in the morning and if you clicked on the bell you'll get a notification that i did something <laughs> So I'm taking it everybody can hear me pretty well. I don't have the fan going or anything. It's not too bad in the room today. Usually doing something like this, I would probably have, would have turned the camera on with the yellow already put on there, but. All it goes according to how I feel 
at the present time. This is um, once again is um, watercolor paper on foam board. Okay, so I just took some adhesive glue and off and um, just glued it onto the foam board. Just like that, just want a nice coating of yellow. That's it. Let me wait for it to totally dry before I do the next step. All right. Okie dokie. So while it's drying and I'm chatting, essentially talking to myself, really, um, I'll wipe off the yellow. It's got water in it, so it's easy to just kind of pull it, scrape it off real quick. No, no big worries. Just take it right off. It doesn't take very long for the yellow to dry, trust me. It does not. Okay. All right. I'll probably get on with the, I'll use the same brush and I'm gonna uh, coat evenly some some glycerin. Now glycerin, what it does, it stays on, now nah, it's gonna sit on top of this paint, you know, and it's gonna stay wet for a minute and that way I can get whatever effects or blending that I desire to do. Um, Now, as you can see, glycerin is clear, so as long as the paint's dry, it's not gonna, it's not gonna lift off the paper or anything. I just really wanna coat this stuff. A thin coat is all you need. A very little bit of glycerin goes a very long way. Okay, and putting it on with a varnish brush is actually a plus, because if you have too much on, you can always kind of scrape it off. But for what I wanna do, this, this will be fine. And this flat brush has a tendency to really kind of put things on in an even keel. It spreads it out evenly. So if it's too thick, you can always move it. Okay, glycerin, if you can't tell already by the lights, is very reflective. So you can pretty much know where you put your glycerin at. And I can say a flat, even brush like I have helps out in that immensely. Now I do have the whole thing covered. Really doesn't matter which direction you go in. I mean, you can go up and down. Also, it doesn't really matter because you don't. It's not gonna uh, show any streak marks or anything like that. Okay. Always rinse off your brush when you deal with the uh, the glycerin. Also, the water cuts through glycerin like a hot knife through butter. All right. Okay, put that away. Next, I'm going to use a um, sponge. I want some interesting little patterns going on. The sponges that I'm grabbing are a little too small. I'm gonna use a slightly larger sponge. Let me just maneuver myself and get a slightly larger sponge. There's some interesting patterns that I, I want, so I guess I'll use this big fellow here, okay. They come in various shapes and sizes and what have you. I'll put these two smaller ones away. They tend to, when I bump into them, tend to fly off my area and hit the floor. And Lord knows where they end up being if I don't watch where they fall. Okay. Hey, Bill, what's going on, my man? <laughs> uh, it's good to see you too, Bill. Well, Ernest, I hear I um, well, I've been I'm well, I've, I've I've done a lot of drawing. I really haven't. I mean, I've been doing painting for a number of years now, but before then, not, not really. I want to take this sponge. I'm not even going to wet it. No, no, you guys, you guys can see that pretty good. I don't have the other light on, um, so you might see 
you know, that shadow there. But I'll try to keep my head out of the frame there. Okay. All right. And I just want, I'm going to just take this blue, spread it out. I'll spread this blue out there. I will more than likely need more blue when it's all said and done. But for right now, um, this should be okay. We'll see. And I just kind of. Get this going like this. And get little patterns happening. Just like that. And I want something kind of complementary to the to the um yellow. Okay. There is another color I can use. I don't have my uh sounds turned off on the phone. But there's another color that I might, well, I, that I will put on here to complement this uh, blue. Now, this blue will not totally dry, obviously. And I'm trying not to, I'm just trying to pounce this stuff on here, not, not um, really smear it. Okay. Very good. See, you still see bits of yellow in there. And it's fine. That's cool. Don't worry about that. All right. Um, let's rinse this off. My hands are going to get a little wet. In there, but, you know, got to clean off the, got to clean off the sponge pretty good here. And just wipe the water off here. I have a large towel on my lap. All right. Uh, we'll just dip into this brown. And believe it or not, yes, this brown will complement the... Uh, and I'm going to kind of pop that brown around the butterfly area here. Put some down in here. Get some more brown. And just kind of pop it in there. Like I say, you're not going to totally get rid of the yellow, and I don't want to. Do want to mesh that brown into where the butterfly is. Kind of sneak it in there a little bit. Just like that. Okie dokie. Let's clean this off. I think I'm going to pop in some uh, I think the other one's open. <sighs> yeah, I think you're, I think you're open. Yeah, you're open. All right, pop a little green in here. This green's a little, a little on the light side, uh, but we'll work it. We'll work it. We'll work with it. Oh, um, if you're still here, Ernest Bill is a drummer one of the members of the band I used to play for back in the day many moons ago in Tucson Arizona and he was the drummer ha I like that that's cool so we'll pop in some of this some of this nice weird gray green in here that's cool Here we go. Just like that. Now watch what I do with this. Like I said, I'm not gonna get rid of all that yellow. I think that 
That's about it. Like I said, I don't really want to smudge everything, smear it. But that should be more than enough to, for what I want to do. Hopefully, by the time I'm done, I can still find the butterfly. <laughs> we'll see. Clean off the sponge here and wipe it off. And once you're done doing kid painting crafts here, the sponge comes out pretty fine, see? All right. And the sponge air dries rather quickly. Okay. Thank you, Ernest. Oh, here we are. Okay, if this is still wet, because I don't want everything in detail, I'm gonna take a hake brush. It's a Japanese, very, very soft haired brush. Very gently, very gently, very gently. Now the glycerin is still on there. Very gently, I will blur this stuff. I don't want to exactly smear everything, but I want to get the look of it being blurred back there. So very light. So I'm going to just blur out some of these patterns. And it's very, very light. X strokes will do it for you. Because if you do it in X strokes, there's no real direction of the blur. And it all depends on how much drying time there is in between you doing this and actually applying it. But as you can see, you still see some of the yellow in there. But, you know, I'm just blurring some of the things out. Okay. Just like I said, just kind of smooth it out and blur things a little bit. All right, all right. Now this green, which is actually helping me out because this is kind of the newest paint that I put on there. So it not only is it blurring it, but it's spreading out. So it dulls some of those colors in there. All right. Hake brush, very soft um, brush. Clean it immediately. Brushes that got very soft hair. As long as you clean them pretty good, um, yes, it'll, it'll stain, but they dry extremely fast. As long as you get all the water out of them, and they last you quite a few years easily. All right, simple maintenance just to take care of them. So, okay. If we look down at the palette, we got a slow mess, which is fine. Um. Uh, not really much paint to do too much with, so I'll just kind of <laughs> remove it. No big deal. I got a bucket here on the side. I just now my bucket. I have um, a large garbage bag there, so when it gets and plus I got a, a, a rack down in the bottom where I clean the brushes off with. When it gets um, little full with water to a certain point where it almost uh, touches the rack it's time to change it and I just pick up the brush uh, pick up the bucket dump it dump the water out um, the garbage bag usually has a hole in it so it's useless and I just throw it in the trash and get another bag put the rack back in and then we're off and running to the races once more so all right I'm looking for, um, I really don't want to use this green. I want to use a stronger green. Um, and if I don't have what I need for a stronger green, I'll just make some, uh, make some green. I want my green a little bit on the darker side, just a wee bit. So I'll go back into this blue. Now, obviously blue and yellow does make green. I might want to darken that green a little bit. So I'll use a touch of red also
we may come back to that red I don't know so we got red we got yellow and we got blue all right I guess we'll work with that we'll start putting some leaves and such back here okay uh all right well before I continue on let's see what I got here for a little bit of white here like I say at 1204 midnight I highly doubt and unless some people are in California or in Hawaii will, they, will anybody really know that I'm on I say this is usually people who usually wake up in the next day or whatnot they'll see me or see that I did another video now I'm gonna use a half inch brush for this <coughs> hopefully I'll mix enough of the kind of proper color that I'm looking for but we'll see um I'll pull out some before I pull out anything to be wet this brush I wet the bristles just to get them a little more pliable all right now let's do that again oh that's a lot better so we'll get a little bit of blue here we're going into our yellow we make our basic um, blue and yellow equal green thing okay that's a pretty nice deep green that's that's fair that's that's okay I might slap a touch of red in there just to deepen it up a little bit there just like that still trying to keep that green in there a little bit of glycerin and I'm gonna pull this brush towards me it keeps the brush fairly brush tip fairly um, I got too much cake down there hold on let me wipe this it keeps the uh, the edge of the brush fairly decent fairly sharp edged okay now that I wipe the paint off and now I'll push it towards me now I have enough to kind of mess around with it all right we'll just start popping leaves in whatever direction um, we'll start from this dark area here and go out that we'll just kind of start in and go this way I'll just start I'll do some little vein things kind of guide the leaves where I may want them okay so we'll start somebody with some of these guys up in here and I'll just kind of mash in in, uh, just shapes like this okay and we'll kind of pop in some more just like that and I'm just really um, just filling in with just leaf shapes I will either lighten or darken them according to how they're how they're coming out how they're looking all right all depends some of them will be a little lighter I'll just keep I'll continue on here some will be darker all, all depends these are just stuff in the background right now so I'm not really concerned about their overall look because some of these will be covered okay I'll take some let's pop some of those in there thin thick thin let's do another one here thin thick thin um let's pop one here thin thick them. some of these might not even be seen when it's all said and done but it's okay it's all right trust me it's, it's all good in the hood okay a little bit more yellow wipe it in there put it in there I already got glycerin on the brush. got some more glycerin there we go so we got that gr that shade of green bag a little touch of red in there and darken it up but still maintain that green all right still want that shade of green in there still okay all right still got a touch of glycerin on there so it's all right that's like that and kind of get your leaf shapes going here like I say these fellows are in the back okay so it's all good I don't have to have a vine pop some leaves in there just like this just like that Alright. Sharon, hey, how you doing? Alright. 
I'm looking. I'm looking. And I'll just pop something up in here like like that. And put something in there like this. Alright. Really work those leaf shapes. I really love this variety of leaves. Don't ask me why. I just love the way they look when I was uh, shown how to do these by the Jenkins. Yeah, I just, I just took to it like a duck to water. I just really, really enjoy the way they um, did their leaf shapes. Let's come out here a little bit. Um, some of this you might see, some of this you might not. It all depends on the glare, the light, and how light or dark I'm doing these fellas. Okay. And right now, I'm just really gathering shapes, really. That's why they're kind of on the dark side here. But that's why they're you know, brown and dark green. And cause these fellows are in the back. It's like so. A little touch of blue in here. Now, if you introduce your blue to this darker color, it's going to look like a greenish, greenish blue. Okay, a little closer and to keep it, it um, loosens up the paint. I kind of use thicker paint, you know. Um, all right, let's kind of go. We'll go down in this direction. We'll kind of curve it here. Like I say, these are just darker leaves getting interesting shapes. I'm overlapping as I'm doing these. If you notice, I'm going to a point. All right. Uh, right here. Just like that. Like this. Keep on going. I'll throw a little red in there. Yeah, touch of blue. These fellas, once again, they're in the background. So I'm more interested in shapes. No more, no less, just shapes. Uh, let's pop one. Almost, it's like half in on the wing of the butterfly. You guys don't see the butterfly with us in there. So it's more like um, when you're doing leaves, any kind of foliage, when there's a group of them, it's more like organized chaos, if that makes sense. All right, come on down here. Still dark. Now remember these leaves do have uh, uh, vegetable glycerin on them. I'm more interested in the shapes of the leaves more than details. Some of these fellows will more than likely be in the um, in the back. Well, they are going to be in the background. Well, as long as they still got a little bit of tacky tackiness to them, I should be able to blend some of these leaves out. So I'm not going to really go hog wild on detail when detail isn't really needed at this stage. All right. All right. I'm just getting glycerin because I do have this is thick paint. I'm pulling it towards me. If I feel like I got like too much on, I'll just take my rag real quick and just wipe the rest of the paint off. And then just pull the rest, what I have on the palette here, toward me. That's all. Okay, once again, thin, thick, thin. Thin, thick, thin. Go on the other side, thin, thick, thin. Some of it you'll see, some of it you will not. Thin. Thick, thin. The reason why I'm tilting in my head is that glycerin is very reflective. So while it's still wet, it's, it's, it's hard to see a little bit. Okay, which is why you see me doing all of this. Okay. Oh yeah, you West Coast people, yeah, you guys get to see it right on time. Nice and early for you. I think it's what, 8 o'clock there? If you're in California, it's 8 o'clock. 
think you got that four hours difference now. Okay, let's take Mr. Hake brush again. You get well, I'll take the smaller one. I do have them in three different sizes. This, this I got uh, you see me use the large, this is the medium. <coughs> While it's still somewhat wet, be very careful. And you can kind of soften some of these fellas. Just kind of soften the edges, blur them out a little bit if they're still wet. Okay. Some of these might still be a little wet, so you can get away with it, blurring them out a little bit. And you can kind of judge by the feel of the brush against the paper. If it's still tacky, you can if it's still tacky, you can kind of add a little more pressure than you would normally use. But I just want it just enough just to blend some of these fellas. Keep their shape. I'm just maybe blending out the hard edges a little bit. This is why I don't add a lot of uh, I don't add detail to these fellas. Don't need it when they're going to be in the back. They're a little softer. You can still see the shapes of them, but they're softer and they're darker. Okay, all right. 9 p.m. Okay, so you well, it depends on where you guys where you are, Sharon. If you're in California, then it's a three-hour difference. Well, it depends because of the you know the spring back fall forward or something like that. All right, so we did a little bit of this. Okay, all right. I'm still thinking background right now. I, yeah, I'll do it just to do it, but I can get away with a little bit of some dark vines swinging around here. Still background stuff. I'll take, I'll take the regular script liner. I want them shown. I'm gonna use water for this method. Let's dip into a little yellow. Put that yellow in there. Swim it around. Cause you have to get the ink, uh, paint to an inky consistency there. All right. And we'll pop in some blue like that. And as you can see, it turns into that very familiar green here. Believe it or not, this has to be um watery a little more watery than what it is and you would need plenty you roll the, this thin brush you roll it around in the paint okay now i'll just got to be a little clever on where you want to put this green all right and i'm gonna put it to where you see some of that yellow so we just kind of come around like that and go in little circles things like that and you know you just swing a couple around there have some come in front of the leaves if you want. Go right off the panel. Curl one around. Come up this way. Alright. Just a few here and there. And, and these are going to be pretty much, you know, this dark green kind of variety here. Alright. Something like that. Kind of curl it around. You roll quite a bit of paint on this brush. One, this brush is ridiculously thin. So you can get those fine little lines and then kind of mix them in there. Uh, we'll come out here like that. Come around, around, root loop, go in another direction. I'm just aiming some of these where the lighter colors are so you can actually uh, see them a little bit. You might not see them all by the time we're said and done, but you'll see bits of these guys. All right. So I'm not going to go hog wild with it, but just in key little, little areas, usually where it's kind of light at, you can get away with a few of these little curly cues up in there like that. Come on out there like this. Come on down like that. Just a few here and there. That's it. We're going to return to those, but a little bit later you'll see, and you'll see why. Usually when you do paintings like this, it's, you, you kind of pre-planted in here okay so with this painting I kind of I knew I was gonna do a floral I knew what kind of pattern I was gonna do for the floral so this painting will be a little quicker than others because I've already pre-planned this of what I want to do 
And it's been a little while since I did a floral, so why not? No. Sharon, sure. they still got it. The only state in the union that does not have it is, um, actually there should be two. Uh, I think Alaska don't have it. And um, Arizona doesn't have it. They don't change. Never. They never change. Ever. So. And with Alaska, depending on how far up in Alaska you are, where daylight, I mean, depending on the time of year, you got perpetual sunlight for six months, then you got perpetual darkness for six months. So, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, I, I don't think they have it at all. It doesn't matter. Um you know <coughs> when you're that far up north okay I'm going to start to block in some flowers now alright I would suppose I might end up going toward the red route with these flowers because of all the greens and the yellows and the browns okay so all right now the red flowers they look great I've painted plenty of them but the highlighting of a red flower is a little different from any other flower because when you highlight with red you can't truly add white because if you do then it starts looking like a carnation unless you want a carnation or a pink rose or whatever but you, you, you have to highlight it with shades of, of, of yellow and orange um, stuff like that you can't use just like white and red together because it turns pink and then now you have a pink flower so you have to be you have to be um, Alaska? No. Arizona? Yes. But yeah, they, they, they don't change their time, their clock. No. The further north you go in Alaska, the worse it gets. You know what I mean? You got the aurora borealis. It's, it's just the way Alaska is posi positioned on the planet. All right. So yeah. That's right, Ernest. Spring forward, fall back. Yep. Okay. I can still see the butterfly. You guys can't but it's around here all right let's start building up uh, these flowers now with red um, uh, let's see here all right let's do this I'll still I'll continue with the half inch brush I should use a different half inch brush that keeps a pretty decent edge this one does not but I can at least block them out so we'll do it that way I'm going to do a group of them and it's usually when you do a group of anything um, try to keep it at an odd number all right three five seven nine stuff like that your eyes tend to accept odd numbers better okay all right we'll start off with this red I really should um, deepen this really uh if I had it's opposite I would use the color opposite I can make some so let me do that I shouldn't have clouded this with red I really don't want to waste this paint so let's do this let's let's, let's um let's, let's get that out of there just like that put it right here all right Let's make its opposite real quick. Let's get a little bit of blue. We'll put it right here. A little bit of yellow. Okay, we'll kind of green it up there. Just like that. Alright. We'll make its color opposite. Now I'll dip the red into the color opposite. Just like that. So we'll brown it out a little bit. Okay. Once you get it darker. A little darker. So now you see the, the color shift? That red between that red? Okay. Now when you add true red to it, it means something follow me okay all right okay now you have to act like none of these are existing 
because if you start um, really thinking too much of your background and where you want to because you know you spent your time doing them and everything you know you you know once you start thinking like that you're gonna spend an un, 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 unnecessary amount of time um, thinking about things that you know you really shouldn't have all right so just pop, you pop that color pop it right in there okay like so um yeah maybe i have it kind of go out this way for this one who knows something like that all right that's one though Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll we'll pop a roundish one right here, something like that. These are going to be kind of impressionistic guys, so you know, hey, um, maybe we'll kind of do this with this one. Uh, maybe I want him pretty much like that, but we'll have him going the other way, like, and we'll kind of wave him out like this. Okay. Let's get some more red. Let's dig out some more green color. Mix it green. Pop the red in there. All right, now you see the color shift? You see the color difference? All right, very important. The three would look pretty cool. You know, they're in there and whatnot. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it's pretty, pretty neat. Oh, two, three. Maybe another circle down in here. something like that Let's uh, let's scrape some more yellow and blue here. Pop some of that red in there. A little more blue in it. I'm just looking at the color mix here. Nah, eh, that might work. We'll see. Yeah, that that that, that might do. We'll see. Something like that. And then we'll, we'll continue on with this fella a little bit later. So we'll throw Bud in there, why not? It's still constant it's five. Okay, now let's take some of that blue, put it in here with this greenish color, this color opposite, fairly dark, and that's all we're looking for. I'm going to get a little bit of glycerin, we'll put a little drop of glycerin in there just to smooth it out a little. Now be careful with your glycerin because glycerin will make your paint transparent. Okay, just, you know, just letting you know that. And we'll kind of spread that out, that darkness out there. Mm. Yeah. Like that. Oh, uh, I'm deciding. Well, let's see here first. If I can get away with it, I'll get away. If not, then I don't. Uh, 
I'll just start it right from here. This is right, right from the bottom here. Just, just like that. Now kind of fade that out there. Keep it the roundness. Just fade it a little bit. That should work somewhat. Okay, let's get a little bit of blue. Put it in there. A little bit of red. Put it in there, which makes it maroon. But you need a little bit of yellow to which I'm very, very light with on that may or may not be enough for the painting we'll see in a second here we go now put that blue in there yeah hey, here we go hey what's going on brother Little bit, a little bit of red. I'm going to deepen it there. Just like that. Interesting how you get so many colors out of only three colors, right? Alright. This is this round fella right here. And we're going to continue that roundness. Just like this. You'll see in a second how I kind of all up in here. Round. All up in there a little bit. Just like that. Same thing with this guy right here. Okay, pretty dark. And we're gonna kinda dip some of that roundness in there. It looks crazy right now, I understand. We're, we're at that part of the painting where it's like, what is this fool doing? I know, I know. Once again, impressionistic guys here. All right. Believe it or not, that should be, we should be right, more or less. More or less. Okay. No problem, brother. You have a very good night, bro. And thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Now, I can do this a couple of different ways, okay? Because I've got them pretty much kind of blocked in, more or less, sort of, kind of, sort of, I can actually put the leaves in here, okay? Maybe I'll do that for a few, but not for all of them, all right? I'll pop some brighter leaves in here for this one. I'll do some for this one. Well, let's just start off with this one first. Because once I start adding in um, the petals, and these guys tend to grow considering what I want to do with them. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. Stuff that's dried up and I don't need, it can go to the... Uh, the waste bucket of forgetfulness. <laughs> All right. Still with the same crazy half inch brush with the sorry tip. I'm just looking to see. If I have something else that I slightly pass for a good brush to do these with. Hold on for a second. Oh, uh, yeah, no, not you. Not you, never you. Ah, oh, I think I got one. No, nah, you're angled, I don't want you, not today. No angle brush. Hmm, I'm looking, hold on for, hold on. Ah, oh, there you are, hey buddy. Think I can use you? Yeah, you're kind of an old standby. Let's see how firm you'll be for me here. Get some water. We'll kind of loosen up the bristles on this fella. Yep, you might do. You might do. Let's put you back down over here. All right, it's another half-inch brush. Let's uh, let's throw some leaves in here. I may go a little traditional with the uh, 
with this batch of leaves. They have to be a little brighter. It's not enough paint. Where do you put the paint in there? Uh, a little touch of blue. Believe it or not, even though I got this green in here, I had to put white in it to make it a little opaque. Yellow is, is transparent, period. Orange is semi-transparent, but yellow's, yellow's transparent. Okay. A little more care with these batch uh, of leaves. We'll go here first. Um, I have a little more care. These guys are kind of all out on front street, so I have a little more care with these. And if you can tell, it's still semi-transparent. I didn't kill it with all of that white. So they're, they're still got a little bit of transparency in these guys, which is fine. And I'm not afraid to kind of overlap leaves coming together. It's all right. You know, it's your choice of which leaves you want in front of the other one. Up to you. That's ish. up to you, really. I'm just getting a corner of glycerin. That's all I need. Pulling this paint towards me. Okay. I need to be careful. Uh, maybe, no. I'll, I'll put them here. I'll kind of put them up around here. the method to my madness of doing these guys something like that like I said, you really don't see it too well but you, you will when I start highlighting see these guys you, you, you'd have to highlight there'll be a highlight side and a, and a darkened side uh, for these these guys I believe I can get away with another one up around here somewhere I'm going into my white A little touch of blue. Bring it towards that green again. Just a tiny bit of glycerin to loosen up this paint. Go back and forth. I just gotta be mindful to where I'm at with it. Now I'll kind of do it this way. And then a little X, a little stroke. Every time I do this, I'm aiming just like an imaginary dot. But you'll, you'll see as I go on here. Mm. tricky doing it this way all depending on how I want to go about doing these uh, I guess I'll do one maybe right around in here somewhere we're gonna get some interesting transparencies going on here with these fellas something like that as I'm looking I'm looking at it here all right I think that would be cool um, I can probably get away with another one here and probably maybe a couple here but they have to be brighter you know the same color of what you see me messing with right now you can always bring that green back even though there's white in it okay Now I got a lot of paint loaded on this brush. Paint that could be used. Let's just take an X-Acto knife and not X-Acto knife. Scratch that from the record. Palette knife. There we go. Just like that. Okay. You take rag and just kind of wipe that off. Alright. We get a little 
little small touch of glycerin. I still want more paint than glycerin, so. It's just, I want the paint a little thinner so I can maneuver it around. It's a little smoother to, to work with. It's like that. Okay, I said I can get away with popping one here, and so we're gonna pop one here. I can add or take away. All depends on what I'm feeling for these guys, how I want to do them. Okay. I don't necessarily have to fill in the leaves to get the shapes. There's a few different ways you can kind of do these type of leaves. I think we're good. I think we're good with those. That's cool. All right. Let's um, let's play with the darker edge. We'll get some red. Mix it in with the green a little bit, and a little little touch of blue in there. Okay, it grays it out a little. All right. I usually would blend with the palette knife then the brush because the brush does cake up a lot of paint a lot of paint that can be used as you can see when I scrape it all together it's, it's a bit of it here see that all right so we'll start to shade in these guys and then we'll work on the flowers all right, so only a slight touch of glycerin. Can I bring it out here? We'll start down at the bottom. Where do I want the light source to come from? Where do I want the darker part of this thing to be? Um, we'll work with this way maybe. like that the key is you don't get rid of all the green and try to make your transition your lift as smooth as possible I'm trying to make sure my head is out of the way now if you make these and they're a little too sharp you can always dull it you can kind of take a very soft brush like I have here and kind of fade it in that way or you can wipe it back or wipe it forward just to smooth it out up to you really it's your choice how you want to do it usually if I feel it taking up on me <coughs> that means it's not enough glycerin And if I got them to where the, the it's really abrupt, you know, I can always smooth it back out. Or you want to bring it back in, bring it back in. But on some of these, because of the way they're going to be formed, you're going to get kind of cast shadow stuff here like this. Going on, you're going to get some, you're going to get some shading, some shadows in there. And you just smooth all that, smooth out the edges anyway. Keep the intensity in the middle, smooth out the edges a bit. All of this will make sense in a, in a bit. You'll see. We're going to continue with the dark halves. I can tell that my paint is getting a little tacky, which is fine. It's okay. Cause I can take it, I can feather it, feather it inward. Really up to you how much of that you want done, how much feathering. I like the patterns though, going inward. Like I say, a lot of this will make sense in a bit. So 
some of these will really get some shadow caked up in there and you'll see why it will all make um, sense to you especially here we, we know it's gonna be all shadowed up in here a little more shadowing here right here is a little too strong I can get rid of that okay Some of these videos can be a little tedious, a little long, long-winded. Like I said, this time of night, I really don't expect to see anybody, really. So I'm surprised of, of a few that are here, especially if you're on the East Coast. I expect people to be at nighty night land right now. Get some more white though. Just get some closer in here in this. Loosen that paint up a little bit. Alright. Obviously the bright side, but watch how it wakes up this thing here. I promise it it'll it'll look like something. Honest, I promise it will. I promise you. Some of the striations I want, some I don't. Or I want them a little smoother. All depends on how I'm feeling, what I'm looking for really. Okay. Just taking a makeup brush that you would get at Walmart somewhere. And that's how I'm doing the fading and the blending. Using the corner of the brush, get the little lines in like so.
I didn't learn it overnight. I did not. I wish I say I, I, I did, I did not. Let's just say I went through a whole lot of paper. Kathy, how are you? It's good to see you, Kathy. You you get some very interesting uh, um, people on your on your. Uh, you, when you get him in there, chat with you. And how was your concert that you went to? How was that? I think I see you post a little bit of, of, of it. Oh, well, thank you, Kathy. Very sweet of you. Appreciate it. This is going to be a little rough for you guys to see because of the, the, the directional of the light you can see right here. See, light reflection there, light reflection because the light's bouncing off this side. So. Just using the end of the brush, the corner of the brush. Now, that's just showing you at least where the leaves are for right now. Okay. Bear with me one second. I'm just putting this brush back. I'm gonna go to my script liner brush if I don't run it. I'm going to get some water. I'm gonna go into here and just really saturate this. Now remember, glycerin and water are not the best of friends, but the water overpowers the glycerin. And since I'm dealing with these leaves and while I'm at it I'll just add the little veins to it I gotta go into where it's a little more white brighten them up a bit Usually if you want the fine stuff to kind of appear stronger, you just add a little white to it. Even though you got water in it, it still makes it, uh, sure. Sure. Oh, Kathy. You're good. You got the wrench. Kathy does um, auctions, the, the, the coins, and she she, you know, she used to be on on the morning like a little variety show she had on too. But if you a, a late night owl, you you can catch her because she's up pretty pretty late. Does her streams fairly late? Very interesting. You know, check her out. Some people like it with the veins on them, some people don't. It's your preference, really. I have 
lights all over the place. Some I use, some I don't. All depends on the time of day or evening. Nice. Autographed. Awesome. Some of these young guys don't know about Chicago and, and, and the long lasting legacy. I mean, these guys are, are not spring chickens and they're still cranking. You know, they came up toward this way. They were they were with uh, cool, cool in the gang. And uh, I believe they sold that out. And yes, a whole bunch of people went to go see him. Chicago and uh, Cool and the Gang together. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Did you drop your link? I didn't see it. If you didn't drop it, I believe I can I can do it. But you should have been able to. It wasn't cool in the game, was it Earth, Wind and Fire? I think it was Earth, Wind and Fire they were with. Not cool in the game. Earth I think it's Earth, Wind and Fire. Chicago and Earth, Wind and Fire. Yeah, Chicago and Earth, Wind and Fire, them two. But it was it was sold out. It was crazy. Sold out. They was they were you know. Okay. Oh man, I forgot about that guy. Whoops. Let me get him while I'm while it's still in my mind. I forgot about the leaves on that fella. But we're gonna get him squared away right now. I was about to go into the petals of the roses but let me let me tighten up this fella right here this this guy right in here just like that so we have to kind of put that green in there for him okay now remember yellow is transparent it needs to be beefed up with a little bit of uh of uh white we're here actually I'll add that later Let me do him now, what I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna do the uh, the bud down there now. What is kind of on my mind to do so. Get a little bit of red, okay? A little bit of yellow, just like this. Slight touch of white, get some yellow. You know, almost make an orangey color, just like that. Okay, you see it there? All right, I'm gonna get a touch of glycerin. Okay, thin it out. All right. It's light source is pretty much kind of like around in here. Bow it out like that. I'm wiping some off. I'm gonna go into my touch of white. All right. But a press and you whisper away. And 
padded away there. So there's no distinct line there. And then, get some white. Get some glycerin. Thin this stuff up pretty good. White is quite opaque. Be careful with it. I'm just giving it a little push and kind of bring some of that out there like that. A little touch of a highlight there. Okay. Just be careful. Be careful. Really kind of building up cute little highlights in certain sections there. I gotta be careful. Oh, let me use a little yellow with the white though. That might help me out here. Now what I'm doing is I added the white first, then I'll go over with the yellow. It's gonna mix with that red. And blend the rest. It works, I see the link. I'm looking right at it. You're good. Thank you, uh, sure. This isn't the correct brush to use this. Let me put this up. Actually, this brush can go in the in the garbage. I've got tons of brushes. I'm gonna use uh, one that's pretty good here. It's longer, but I can uh, I can get away with it. All right, let's go take a little bit of white, go into this green a little bit. I like this green. So I got a brush here that it can hold the edge pretty good. Basically, get a little more white pulling it towards towards me because I need that nice crisp edge all right like so put it right in there like that okay oh uh, I think we are good we're gonna go on with these petals here the leaf petals I mean all right I don't need a lot of what you see down there, so let's scrape that away. The orange stuff we may need, but I don't, it's starting to dry up, so we can get rid of that. We just make some more, it's no big deal. You're gonna see all variations of orange, red, red, orange. Um, let's, uh, let's get some, let's start to get some together. A lot of yellow, a little bit of red. Okay, we'll start to add second and third colors to this guy. And you would need more yellow than you ever need red. Red is a very piercing, powerful color. Uh, no matter what version of red you, you're you're messing with, it's just a very powerful color. Outright. Okay. All right. Let's start with uh. We'll start with this guy in the bottom and work our way up. We'll do it that way. Okay, uh, so we got some of this this color here going on. Get a touch of white in it. Now the reason why I can get away with that, one, it makes it opaque, and two, because I got other colors mixed in with it, and I got plenty of it. Okay, all right. This guy is circular, so he has um and the light source is coming from the where are we coming from with this light source thing here it looks like we're coming from the right fine okay so we'll kind of take it give, give it a push and we're gonna go inward give it a push inward push go inward downward and we're gonna curve this thing around inward go with a curve uh we're gonna we'll curve them one more one more curve right in there like that all right 
so you'll start to see things kind of popping around here we're going to really accentuate i give it a little push and come out that way give it a little push come out this now i got glycerin on this in this paint so we're going to have a smooth transition of petals here just like that and we're going to come in one more time like that all right a lot of rep repetition here we're going to do another one uh probably curve it boom like this push and bring it in push bring it in push and we're going to give them a curve just like that don't let the darkness intimidate you use that darkness use that darkness it makes these guys kind of pop out there all right just like that actually let's go on top of that leaf go on top of that leaf look at this and curve it on inward curve it on here like that you see how we got it going on top of that leaf now you see where that shadows that all right we're gonna go with a little deeper red put that deeper red in there I'm gonna get a little bit of glycerin thin the paint up the glycerin does not make your paint lighter or darker it will make it transparent but I need a darker red because we're getting into the shadow part now of this guy and so we kind of give it a push different color red but it's going to denote shadow see that just like that see that okay I can take this and I can fold it and we're going to make a leaf going in the opposite direction it's like that I turn it keep that circle but I'm keeping the curve and yet I'm curving it in the other direction at the same time if that makes any sense all right okay I'm going into my red still the original red I still got glycerin here I'm pulling the brush toward me so it keeps a nice chiseled sharp edge I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this one outward like this going with the curve and then I'm gonna take it actually let me lighten that up a little bit let me get a little bit of yellow touch of white in that yellow I still got red on this brush so it's gonna turn it kind of orangey watch watch I come out here give it a slight push and go in slight push and go in slight push going you see that line I hope you can see it because I can barely see it it's because of the light now it needs to be a little lighter a little more white a little more yellow there we go now I gotta be careful get some glycerin we're gonna do that again kind of accentuate the brightness there a little push a little push I'm overlapping as I'm doing this now as I do this I'm coming around come around come around right now I'm gonna turn it the other way like this way turn it that way turn it again this way you see that little flip turn there okay see that give it a little flip I want some of that brightness on this side just a little bit okay <coughs> sometimes if I find a shade that I like I'll play around with it like I'm doing now just like that the brighter the color you see if you you make it stand out a little bit more see that okay you have a good night too thank you for coming by I do appreciate it really do appreciate you Kathy she's a lot of fun um here let's let's get a little touch and bring it down a little, little touch and kind of bring that bring that down in there like that you get a nice smooth fade in, in there you don't have to necessarily highlight every single nook and cranny of a flower just little key spots especially where you think the light source is going to be okay all right 
I'm going to show you something real quick for those of you who are still here. Let's get more glycerin than paint. We're going to put it right here in this deep red. More glycerin than paint. Watch what I'm going to do. Watch what happens. This is kind of a gentle dance. You know, you kind of have to mess around with the glycerin and, and, and paint to kind of do this. Let's make some leaves that are kind of transparent. They're going to kind of show through some of these. Don't know if you're going to continuously see them because you know I got these other plants to do here. Other flowers. We're going to come here and we're just going to watch. Watch what happens. Go right over that flower. Go right over that flower. See that? See how transparent it starts to see that? Okay. You still see the leaves there. Okay. Uh, it's transparent. It don't matter. I can go back over and kind of pop this in there. Just like that. It don't matter right now. Once, like I say, it's transparent. And plus, when I get it to the other leaves, it'll, it'll cover what I want to cover over it. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's, let's do another one. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe one here. Come out there like that. Right on top of that leaf. Look at this. Watch. Just like that. Now watch what I'll do here. Let's take some of this lighter color. I'll take a little bit of white. Get a little glycerin. Just the edge. Um, just the edge. We'll do it here. You see? It's just the edge. Let's do it here. A little push of color. A little push. Not much. Just a little, little touch of color. Right in there. Just to kind of frame it a little bit. You don't necessarily have to do too much of this. Just frame it a little bit. Come on in. You can tell you you can tell these guys what direction to go, where you want to put it, where you want to pull them. Okay, just like that. Okay. All right, we'll leave him alone. It's enough of that for him. Let's move on to the next one. But now, does it make sense where all that shadow is? You see that? Okay. See, starting to make a little sense to you. Um. This is another rounded one. Let's go into a little, let's go into a little solid red for one minute. Um, light source. Well, a little tricky. We'll go over here from the top. Just a deep red right here and go that way. Now I can get away with this red out the tube because the red that preceded it is fairly deep. Let's go this way. And what I'm doing is I'm pressing, so I just, well, I have to sh I'm going to have to show you when I highlight. You'll see what I just did just now. Watch what I just did. I'll take a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. Stir it in. White and yellow makes the, make the yellow opaque. It's still kind of orangey. And it's, that's fine. Watch. I'm going to just give it a little push. A little push. Go that way. Watch what I'm going to do here. A little push. Little push, watch, watch what happens. Be careful, watch, watch this, watch it. All of a sudden, it just turned, changes direction right here. Change the direction. See how it did that flip? Look at this. See that flip? But you didn't expect that, did you? Look at that flip. See that? Okay. Come back over on here, continue that curve around there. Remember, you got the light source on, on this side, so kind of accentuate that a little. Just like that. All right. Okay. Once again, get yourself a, a brush that maintains a pretty good wedge, a sharp edge there. Um, I'm going into this regular raw red, no glycerin or anything. We're going to come over here on the, on the dark in the side, and we're going to kind of accentuate some stuff here, pop it out a little bit gonna come inside and just give a push in various directions to donate the just the show that you know it's the center of the flower there right up in here okay just a few touches I'll let you know that all right no a problemo 
I have a series that will be coming out actually um, that explains this and log cabins and all that. It's all done. It's finished. Um, I just haven't um, put it out there yet. Uh, okay. Let's, um, yeah, we'll play around like this. We'll just take it and curve in. Curve in. Curve in. We're going to keep playing with this outer edge right in here. Right in here. Curve. Curve it in. Do not neglect that dark. Keep that dark there. Let's take some more of that raw red. We're gonna have a petal flipped in our direction. And this will be a, a good good time to do it right in here like this. Just like that. Block it in like this. Now you don't see it yet, but you will. You'll definitely see it. Get a little bit of yellow. I got red mixed in there. A little touch of white makes it in really, really good. Get a little glycerin. Thin the paint just a bit. Oh, I have a brush here with a very sharp, crisp um, edge to it, so it makes life easier. And once again, we're on the lighted side anyway, so we're going to get a slight push on in. Slight push. And what I'm doing is I'm just developing an edge just to guide your eye, really. No more, no less. I'm overlapping some of these fellas. Now, here's where the turn comes. Now, I went in this way. Okay. As you see, out going in. Now... I'm going to go, I'm pushing in the other direction because we're going up, going inward. See this? Can you see the direction? See that? Okay. And I'm curving inward. Got one more. And we curve them in like that. Curve them right in. <coughs> You, you see you see the flip there all right okay all right so we're going back to that dark edge again so more of the red just red paint all right and we're gonna get some glycerin and we'll put it right here because I got red the natural red here but I don't have any glycerin in this so I'll use another spot put the glycerin in and we're just gonna kind of Play around with these. So remember, remember glycerin makes your paint um, transparent. Okay. So let's keep that in mind. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, all right. What I'll do is I'll go from the inside out right up here. I'll go out, way out like that. Then I'll just curve it back in. What I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing the, the petals in a different kind of a light maybe I'll I'll cup this one uh, I'll come in and out like this so I'll just kind of bow him like that and just trail him that way he's going in the other direction um, I'll show you in a minute here so we have a we're gonna have a double cupped um, fella here I have to be careful because the double cup is on the other side so he cannot be too dark uh, get a little bit of red. Like I say, it's, it's, you're gonna have to see a bunch of different variations of reds and oranges and whatnot. All right, he is uh, like, like here. So he's like double, he double cupped over here. So he's got a cup here, he's got a cup over here. Okay, and then you take this guy. Hmm, I'll just add a line here and give him a little something there. Okay. Uh, I will just kind of pop him in like that. Okay. Uh, this guy here, mm, well, you know. Maybe a little something here. Not too much. Uh, yeah. Alright, he's, he's, he's cool, just like that. I really don't have to play with him uh, too much. This bold guy here, this fella right here in the back, well, we got him last, but this guy up here, since I'm going in that direction, 
Uh, I mean, I could add more stuff to this guy if I chose to. Like I say, I can put him in the front more, so now he looks like he has a fold there. Like he folded among himself. Okay, all sorts of stuff you can get. You guys can do with these um, florals. Okay, this guy here, um, let's give him a kind of a little, little kind of a shine in here like this. Just for right now, all right? We'll, we'll smooth that out there. It's all right. He's all right there. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, let's um, clean up my brush. The reason why I put that there, because we can build off of that. We'll take a little bit of just natural red and we'll kind of play around in there with them. We'll kind of fade them in there like that. See that? Let's keep, keep the shape of the thing. It's all right. Blend him right in. It's okay. Blend him. Blend him in there. All right. A uh, little yellow, a little touch of white. Uh, right up in here. Put it right here. Something, something like that. Okay. Kind of rub that in there like that. All right. Okay. Now watch it. It's starting to look like an onion, but uh, cause you you can do fruit the same way. I'll get a little more yellow, a little touch of white. It's still got a little red mixed in there, a little bit. All right. Let's uh, let's come here to the edge, like right here. Just like that, and maybe just a, just like that. But we can come here, and we can just give a little, little, a little line, really. Just like that, we continue that line right on around like this. And kind of continue this little little edgy thing there, just something like that. And we can come here and kind of aim it in this way. I'm just giving a little push and just coming on down, a little push, a little lower, a little lower. Just come on in here like that. All right. Okay. Kind of bring some of that yellow in there like that. All right. Let's get some red paint for a split second here. So we can kind of um, make a play with that deep red for the dark area there. It's just me kind of continuing it, but just on the other side, on the dark half there. And we'll come here, we'll kind of play with it up here too. Just like so. And we can give them a fold of something right in out there like this. Okay. He's a little more closed than the others. Alright. Okay. Let's take some more red. I'm going right into the area of the red here. A little touch of glycerin. I'll put the glycerin glycerin red right here so it's plenty of it on my brush oh uh, okay and we'll come here and kind of aim some of that that way it's so like that would we'll deepen some of that get rid of some of that there come out here put it right out here boom
go back into my glycerin here. I'm really rubbing this paint into the bristles here, along with the glycerin. What kind of turning me in this way like that? Um, way up here. Okay. La la la. Let's get some white. Get some yellow. It's gonna be like kind of an orangey color here. A little more yellow. As long as you got something in there uh, on top of that on top of that yellow, it'll show through. I'm pulling the paint towards me. Because this is more or less a lit area, we're gonna concentrate right on that edge and go on in. Concentrate on that edge, go inward. Edge, go in. Edge, go in, wrap him right around. Give him a little something here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna cut into him. Edge, cut right into him, just like that. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's kind of brighten him up and give him a quick, quick twist in there. Just like so. Jessica Gilbert, how are you gonna ask me what am I doing this late? I'm old enough to be your daddy. You go to bed. <laughs> How you doing, Jessica? I haven't heard from you in quite some time. Thought you forgot about it, brother. Huh? Thought you joined the circus or something. Okay. All right. Now, with Mr. Bulb over here, I can start to play around with a few things. I can play around with some, some cutesy little, like little highlight. You now, before I do that, let's, let's loosen up this paint. Okay. So I can get some, um, play around with the, just the, the, the tips of them here. And give, give them some kind of a flowery shape here like that and maybe we can come around and give a couple of them like that mm. yeah we're cool with that you've been very busy with your family understandable it's all right it's all good. How is the family doing, Jessica? Let's add a little more glycerin here. Let's make some transparent stuff. So a little more glycerin than paint. We'll come up around here and just kind of go out this way for a minute. And maybe a little something, something here, maybe. Right, right past that leaf there, just like that. Okay, all right. little touch of white I just need to brighten it up only a hair because you really want the edge give it a little push and go in push and you go in you're not really supposed to leave your leave your palette or leave your canvas when you do something like this I do just to show you you know what it is I'm exactly that I'm doing here okay then once again a little push go in a little push Go in a little push, and you push the paint out. It's that rim of paint that helps sell the image of your petals. And you just kind of fade going inward. This is what you see here, me doing. Okay. And once it starts to dry, you'll still see striations. You still see stuff happening and going on with it. Okay. <laughs> you have a good night, Jessica. Yes, one thirty in the morning here. All right. So as I'm looking at it here, I think I can tease a little bit of a 
yellow and white just pure yellow and white for a second and it's just the edge I doubt I'll put any um, glycerin or anything in it just just the edge like this and sometimes it just takes a push and not really me um, see just maybe look on the edge it's like that it's kind of a little line of color there all right red on the very edge if you can get away with it sometimes I mean it all depends on how much paint you have in your, on your brush to do so all right okay so as I'm looking at it I think I'm gonna add a little shadow it's just a touch of blue here mixing it in with the red and right up around in here right up in here now it's got glycerin so it's gonna continue to kind of be soft and it's in bl quite blendable just like this and right in here a little little shadow right underneath here see this okay it's cute little things like that it really adds to your painting you can add some of that love right underneath this leaf here if you would like just like that that adds depth to your painting all up in here it's like that let's get a little glycerin let's mess around in that bluish area there get a little bit of shadow going and that's all it is it's really just light shadow uh, uh, color you can kind of put some of that red up in here and you're just glazing some some shadow in here okay up to you you don't have to do this you don't have to do this at all if you're a little gun shy about adding stuff like this you know I understand you don't have to I'm mixing red in with this blue but it's got the glycerin remember glycerin makes it transparent good night Jessica go to bed Just like so, and because it's glycerin, you can rub it with your finger. All right, so it's really up to you how much of it, like I said, you want to add. This usually comes like last in your painting, but it's up to you. Like I said, how much of this you want to add, you know, really up to you. All right, we got one last flower to really do, and that's this fella. Okay. Very loose, very impressionistic. They're not as stiff. All right, let's um, let's clean off this mop brush. I promise we're on the last we're on the last leg of this. Wow, not too heavy on the red, are we? We're we're almost done here. We're we're dried up here. All right. A little dot of red. Oh, I got no yellow. But actually, it's a good thing for me to run out of paint at this stage of the painting. Okay. Let's go into our. You know what? Let's just go into our red for right now. I got enough red caked here. Hey Jen, how are you? I enjoyed your, your 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 Instagram video. That was nice. I'm just doing a flower thing here, you know. And then I'll curve it around here like this. My teachers would usually turn their paintings. Well, they do, they can paint upside down, uh, but they, they for sake and purposes of, of people who, you know, they would turn their paintings around, flip the flip the canvas, you know. But I've I've, <laughs> I've seen her, uh, him and her, they've been doing it for so many years, and it's like breathing to them. They would just they would just paint right where it right where it is. Okay, and we're gonna curve that around. We're gonna give a curve here, like this. 
and it goes into that bowl back there just like that let's move that right in there just like so so I pretty much already have a pattern to how this flower is going to end up okay all right get a little yellow yeah I'll put the yellow here which gives me this weird kind of half orangey looking thing going on with it uh let's brighten let's brighten up this this area right here give it a slight push and, and go on in you gotta give it a curve though slight push and you gotta give it a curve slight push and you curve it slight push and follow that curve in there this is going to be a rough one for you to see because of the glare of my um st uh, studio light so i know it's going to be tough for you to, to, to see this part I'm going to get us a tiny bit of white. Uh, you don't need too much of this. I have to be careful. I'll get a little bit of glitter and I'll loosen it up just a bit. Uh, here. Let's take this one. Let's get a little, little touch. A little, little push and you go in. A little push and you curve. Curve it. Like that. I'm going to skip that one. Okay, and we're gonna go here. Give a little push and kind of pop him in there. A little push, give him a curve right as you're doing it. And you give him a curve. Yep, something like that. I'm gonna go back into my red. Mix it in with this funky orangey color so it's not totally red. And uh, we'll get a, a few more of these guys, maybe this high. Come in and go in like that. Come a little higher and go on in. A little lower go on in and then you kind of curve inward curve him inward let's do another one right here a little higher a little higher we're curving the other direction going the other direction I see him and yet I don't see him so let's this this cheat I see him there but yet I don't and I want you to see him so a little push a little push of this right the rim like of the thing here right in here because I do want you to see him all right right in here and I'm just giving a little push around that edge to where they are something like that so you, you kind of see where what's happening over there let's take that one since I'm already doing it and I'm in this mood of flipping and curling things Let's curl them around. So this guy right here and this guy right here is going to have a curve. I'll show it to you right here. Right here, it's going to go here and he's going to go right here. Okay. And then I'll just take it and just kind of go the other direction. You have to add the sound effects. If you don't add the sound effects, it doesn't work. Okay. So little curve is right there. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I guess maybe we'll give it a strong red edge there. It's a little right here. A little push. Yeah, a little push color. A little. And I'm overlapping as I do that little push of color. Push color. Push color. A little push color. Uh, something like that. All right. So we got a little little turn there. But that's not the end of it. We have one turned still further inward. That's this guy. I'll come here and give it a little push a little push just like that I'll give him a push that way actually we'll kind of curve him around there like that and give him a little direction just like that All right. there's still another curve in there guys right in here give him a push and kind of curve him around bend him and bend him he's a messed up looking flower out I'll put another edge on him like that all right, we'll do, a, we'll do an edge right here. We'll go in between like that. Go up, up, turn around, and turn it around. That went in the wrong direction. Wipe him away. That's the right direction, not back there. Okay. Paul's blind soup full of soul. My brother, how are you? There go another individual telling me uh, it's past my bedtime. How you doing, man? It's good to see you. 
<laughs> Welcome to your world. <laughs> no, I'm usually up this late, just not painting. Um, when I first started out, I was up this late. I did it extremely late, you know. Well, thank you, Jen. Um, yeah, when I first started out, I was pretty late at night. So, you know, people from Bangladesh were saying hello to me in India and Pakistan, you know, because it's, it's, it's either midday or morning to them. So, and, you know, they would come by and say, hey, so, you know, it's all good. Okay. So we got these fellows out here doing the do, looking all flowery. All right. Since I really, well, hold on, hold on. Let me put this brush right here where I can not remember where I just put it. Let's get a little bit of, ugh, I can't do this to myself with the script lighter. Let's get a little bit of white. This is the, um, once again, white and yellow. This is the, um, mop brush and we'll add some little, very light tendril well the centers of the flowers this, these aren't tendrils but we'll, we'll put them in here a little heavier on one side than the other of course like that um, we'll put a few in here we have it give the impression that, that they're like, reaching up from from that bottom I'll just press them okay <coughs> right dead in the center in here you got a couple of them peeking through very light touch they spread almost like a football because you don't want to get rid of all of the dark eh, like that okay we'll get some heavier here right toward the top just like that. All right, he's heavier here. Where, where the light source is, okay. All right, we got we got a nice batch of them here, so we'll kind of play around with the edge right up in here. Comes like that, a little sparse up up top, a little, a little heavier down in here in this area. Just like so, because you're not get necessarily getting rid of all that dark. All right. Okay. Now, in the beginning, see a lot of you weren't here in the uh, when I did this in the very beginning. But in in the beginning here, I had told you about those little little tendril things. These are dark ones, so you still see a few of them playing around in there. You gotta really look. You know, because it's dried and they sits darker. All right. Okay. Let me scrape the rest of this. Um, it's good to see you, Paul. It's been such a while, you know. Um, I seen you chatting with you. You and the, you and the, uh, Lisa, right? Tell her I said hello. For those of you who will look at this later, and those of you who are here now, Paul is legally blind. He has a, I don't know if they still do it as much anymore, but they used to have a show together with a, well, I forgot. It used to be Artfully Yours with Diana. I think it's Artfully something, but still Diana. And, uh, they would have a, uh, a a live chat session on s every. Ugh, I don't want to get the date the the time wrong, but I know it was like twice a month or something like that, on Sundays it used to be. And it'd be a live panel discussion talking about the um, legally blind community online. Yep. Okay, Lisa. Yep. Okay. That's right. Uh, Paul, 
pain plus insomnia. Insomnia I had when I was a child. Don't even know if it's insomnia because I've always uh, been up this late. I usually go to bed around now, I don't know, three o'clock or so. All depends. All depends. Because if I end up sleeping in the middle of the day, then my sleep schedule is totally messed up. And then I'm going to end up doing the overnighter. Diana's your co host. All right. Okay. But yep, click on his. Well, you can't. You guys can't click on the link in and, 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 and YouTube anymore. Um, but yes, um, you just copy and paste his name, put it in there, and you'll see all about it. So for those of you who might be, you know, interested, you know, check it out. Fascinating topics, actually. And it tells you some of the struggles and difficulties that even they go through because of what people's public perception of, um, of it, you know, they think they're either helpless or they can't do you know it, it's, it's the really daily struggles that a lot of sighted individuals take for granted so okay saturated with water we'll do these little vine thingies this time <coughs> much brighter okay we'll come behind one like this this is a large, this is a fox, uh, uh, um, tiny fox tail. It's actually a pen striping brush. They call it the fox tail brush. I'll come around, I go right on top of the flower, come around, around, go loop in the other direction. Okay. Oh, let's get one, like, kind of dancing around like this. Come around, come around, go in a loop, go around behind the other flower, come up up around and over come on around <laughs> have a lot of fun with it you just gotta have have some fun really just have fun if you can't have fun with it then why bother just have a good time you know no problem Paul no problem. I, I do enjoy when I'm able to, to stop in and see you guys. Sometimes I'm, I get extremely busy. Um, I do a lot of video editing and, and video work. So it kind of keeps me a wee busy. Especially on when I have to record live services and such. And then I'm also the musician. So I'm, I'm really, really busy. Let's go around this flower. Let's just wrap around the flower like this. Wrap around. Okay, I think that's cool. I think that's, that'll do. Uh, we'll do a little curly cute thing right here. Uh, one more. One more right here. Like that. It's kind of curl. Alright, that's enough of that mess. You can get a little carried away with them because they're fun to do. I was going to put a um, couple of dew drops in there. I mean, I still can. You know, I was thinking about it. Not not terribly difficult to do, and it doesn't take a million years. Just slap some dew drops in there. Dew drops or giant water drops, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Sometimes, depending on what kind of paint you got, there we go. It's trying to get that little film going there. I wipe off the brush real good and kind of lighten it up a little bit. Just like that. You want a little white, a uh, light film of color. Look, just watered down white, really. And then get some dark color. You can get, mix some dark color, or whatever. I'll just make some dark maroon. It's gonna appear black or whatever, anyway. It's really thin color you need. You do it right on the bottom. 
directly on the bottom like a football a little curve there like that okay all right then you take a, a little dot of white you put it to where the light source is a little dot really is all you need or something like that people are crazy over those they love them you know okay let's take the remaining bits of that dot and we'll come up here a little bit hopefully I got enough uh, water on this brush to kind of make a film out of that edge when you, you destroy the inner edge of the line you made for your um your outer bubble or a dew drop whatever you want to call this thing okay go back into your dark color you make a bottom edge just like so usually if it's a green or deep red or deep whatever color it'll, it'll suffice and then once again a nice dot right where the light source is and that's it okay all right go back into the white um, Yeah, we'll put one on the, on the on the green part. I gotta be careful where the wet part is on this. Right here is fine. Uh, wet the brush real quickly. Destroy that bottom edge. Get a nice uh, film of color, like so. Let's work it in there. Go back to my dark, put it right underneath, like so. <laughs> uh, why do I miss these historic moments? Ah, uh, Paul, funny. Once again, when you do the dew drops or whatnot. I mean, it depends if you plan to do a bunch of them. Keep it, believe it or not, an odd number. Believe it or not. If you do that, you know, your eyes seem to accept that a little better than even numbers. Okay. And I'm coming up here where all that deep red is, getting that little film of white going. Like so some of this dark to which I still got a little bit left put it right on there Boom. It's like so all right get a dot of white once again put it where the light source is nice and, and just make it one dot that's it that's all you need trust me your eye believe it or not will follow this they, they, your eye knows where these things are all right okay um enough playing around let me call it a night Cause I can do dew drops all over the place on this thing, and this uh, this call it a night tonight. Okay, as you can see, there's really no border to this. All right, I'm in. I'll put my signature right about here. I do have a frame. I'll get rid of the um I'll get rid of the uh the palette here. We're done with this anyway, so I can scoop this up and get rid of it. Later on when the camera's off, I'll uh it only takes a second to the clean this clean this palette, it's just rubbing alcohol and a towel and it comes right off. It's like it can be split it doesn't even take a minute all right all right I'm gonna switch on um, the camera but it's actually the main camera but it's four here so you guys get to see it I need to adjust the um, focus and I'll adjust the uh, the height Now, once again, there's a glare here, and you can see it here, okay? 
and it's only a glare because some of the spots of the glycerin and paint are still wet it's the only reason why you see the glare all right and while i'm talking to you i'm just going to spray this off with alcohol it does come off immediately but it does leave my area smelling like a hospital bed but that's okay it's all right and of course you know uh, rubbing alcohol it just eats right through um as you can hear it eats right through this um, um acrylic paint eats right through the glycerin just like that um trust me it's spotless you guys wouldn't believe it but it's, it's actually clean like i never used it at all okay what i'm gonna do is get up off this chair i have to pull this um screen back a little bit something like that uh i'll try to get it smell that's about as straight as it's gonna get really when i pull it that far back the reason why i pull it that far back because i have a frame the frame this penny might be longer really than the frame um but you know things tend to look a little different when you slap it on a frame i think the frame is upside down put it right side up Yeah, I think it's a little larger. We'll see if we can get it to stick on the frame real quick. It might not, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot the best as I best I can. It might stick. It might it might stay there. I think it might stay. So if I centered it correctly, and I think I did, but here, this what it would look like. Oh, I'm sorry. Every time I change, I have to change, um, it changes the, uh, let me get out of the way, it changes the focus. Let me get my camera out of the way too, I can, I can remove that. You can still hear me, but I'll just remove me. All right, there you go. There it is. All right, okay. Okay. Zero mask, zero mask, and it's incredible, incredible. But there it is, guys. Um, in all its uh, glory. Obviously, you know, I'll take a picture of this and I will um, uh, post it and all of that good stuff. But thank you guys for, let me sit myself back down here. I'll put myself back on the screen for only a few seconds here, but I'd like to uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll adjust the camera a little bit there. And uh, don't know what time I'll be on at a decent human being hour, but eventually I'll make it back to that. Um, who knows? I might do one a little earlier tomorrow who knows it's all based on how i feel and everything so, so um we'll we'll see okay but thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it and i appreciate you I'm trying to find the uh, stop button here on this so until next time it, paul really good to see you serious really good to see you man okay guys um until next time see you when i see you Peace.